Hey guys, and welcome to my latest video. Today I will be playing Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. It's the third game of, of, in the series. It's the best game of all time. This is a masterpiece of video games. Uh, it's pretty much pretty much all downhill after after this one. I've already played and beaten this game on the Xbox, but back in Xbox days, Xbox Live was only used for Halo 2. So today I'm really going to be experiencing what the multiplayer is like, and we'll see if it's really held up to the, the challenge. But apparently, before you're allowed to play, you have to play this tutorial map. Wow, you really can't turn in this game. I guess turning must be like DLC that already came out on the Xbox, but not for PC. Oh my gosh, why can't I turn? Please turn. 5,000 DPI, not not enough. Okay, so I uh, got spotted by the thing. Just shoot the, shoot the door. Okay, there it is. I found it. I found it. It's going to die. Now that's down, so we can get the objective. Oh, I found, ooh, you could do a barrel roll. All right, so we just get the objective. All right, we pick up. We just, we pick it up. We just, uh, we pick it up. We blow ourselves up. We pick it stuff. We jump. We pick it up. We pick it up. We pick it up. We pick it up. Um, we pick it up. And we pick it up. Alright. We pick it up. And then we, uh, we get to the extraction point. So, oh my god. We just spend 14 hours turning because Sam Fisher is freaking fat pig already out of breath and we just walk over to the extraction and yeah so there's the tutorial level so we're back um you really can't do anything until you beat this tutorial level so i'm gonna give it another try um turning reducing the turning radius actually makes it a very smooth experience but that's that's the like I'm you're not seeing this but I'm chucking the mouse around I'm like swinging it like a lasso and it's not even turning halfway so we're just gonna turn the mouse sensitivity up and hopefully we'll actually be able to like do a 180 or at least like maybe a 90 even a 60 would be nice okay it's a little better but we learned from last time we gotta shoot the thing you just shoot the thing. You just shoot the thing. Oh, you almost, uh, almost had. Oh, you shoot the thing. Okay, we shoot the thing, and now we can pick it up. We just w walk over here and we pick it up, and we pick it up, and we pick it up. All right, we got the thing, and now we can start going to the extraction point again. And now that we can turn, it's not going to take us 14 days. We've learned from our mistakes, so we just pick it up, and then we there we go. We are using the sliding mechanic. It's the uh, question mark key. And now we open the door with the open button. Oh, this is this is some intense hacking going on right now. Um, this is programming in Visual Basic. It only takes you five seconds to, to break the lock. Now that we've, we've got the self-destruct sequence, we can cross over the second pit of death. Because they really... They had they had the time and the money, so why not dig two pits of death, or at least one big one, and then have you go over it twice? So this is pretty cool. I'm w I can't wait for the time when you like lean down and you just snap somebody's neck from one of these poles. So we just gotta we jump down, and we jump we jump down, and we jump down. We pull out the gun and we jump down and we jump down. Oh, and there we go. We jump down, and now that we're on the ground, we can get into the next room uh, obviously the they've put a giant hamster cage that no human being could possibly fit through those bars we found the hidden medicine cabinet like in this is batman arkham asylum like who who builds this thing this is like a human gerbil maze it's not even difficult like i can see the ending it's there's not even any dead ends who made this there's a pole. We've already demonstrated our pole climbing abilities. Oh, geez. Don't let go, Sam Fisher. I'm not actually Sam Fisher, guys. I'm just pretending to be him. But you know what I mean. All right, so we slide, slide down. That was very linear, very easy. We uh, Oh, look at that panel that says the door is closed. We hack the door just like we hacked the other door. 
That's not even a door. It's more like a cave. Whoa! Instant door open. Except, wait, that door is not open. That do okay, there it goes. The door is now open. Uh, there are two objectives. So we just walk up to the first one. We place the bomb. It's under attack. We walk up to the second one. Oh, God, there's only one objective. Okay, we just we walk away from that. We let it do its thing. Zone 3, mission complete. Moving on to the next room. Okay, so this this looks even more straightforward than the last one. Those stairs, screw stairs. We just jump off them. We follow the little path. Don't want to go into the abyss. So, oh wait, we we do want to go to the abyss. We've been to te what the fudge already? I didn't even do. Okay, they can't see me in here. Now that we've deployed the infinite smoke grenades, I can't see a thing. We just shoot it, and we're good. The door will now stay open. I wish I had a gun that just magically opened doors like that. And there's another camera, because one camera is not enough. And it's seeing me. There we go. The door is open. We walk through it. There's not really any point to... Oh, God. I can't just duck. The pillar too strong. Please nerf. Pillar. Okay. We're under the pillar. There's... Oh, there's a secret pathway. This is secret. So we can crawl through like the air ducts over here. Been detected. And we come right back to the first room. This whole t I uh, This is amazing. It's not quite a dead end. Oh, area detected. So we just hide underneath the wall here. Still detected for some reason. I don't know how it could see you when you're like down against the wall. Once again, we pull out the gun. We aim it at the thing. We uh, change our, our shoulder, the shoulder that we're firing from with the shoulder fire button. We just change the shoulder fire to make this shot a lot easier and we shoot out a smoke grenade instead apparently those you could those are gun bullets too not really sure why there's like stealth in this all, if all you have to do is just shoot the security cameras it's okay though it's fine we can make it uh smoke grenade to cover my entrance into the next room they'll never see it coming except that they just saw it coming so smoke grenade. Now I'm invis now I'm completely invisible. They still see it, but they show me exactly where. Like I don't, s I don't see it, but they show me that icon. So maybe. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Is that it up there on the roof? Why is it just on the? Oh, it's in it's invisible because it's dark. Except, uh, what the fuck? What another one? What is that? Oh, it's a laser grid. Good thing I, I activated my laser grid vision that allowed me to get through this. Oh, look at... It's, it says press any key. Their security... Their high-tech, like, six trillion dollar security system. You just... You hack it by pressing the any key. Pressing the any key. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Fisher, chapter completed. Now that the tutorials level is beaded, maybe we can see what the multiplayer is actually like. So we're in the tutorial menu. Apparently, those that's not just the only tutorial maps they have like lists of lists of maps but we're gonna skip that for now and go to the user we just that has a user ring what what, what is this is a login didn't I already create a profile wait is this is this origin what the fudge you'll be so why is this even here just put in the CD can what the fudge Ugh! I want the six hours of my life brick game Okay, so we've made it into the game finally, so we just search for a server. Apparently there's matchmaking, which is kind of cool. I see there's there's one server, and it's story mode. I wanted to do versus. I didn't want co-op. But he's the only person playing this game. So, I don't know. Because we're going to have to make that sacrifice, guys. Okay. Well, sorry for the wait, but it, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. All right, three hours later, we're in, and they're, they're already asking me to leave Pulse. Leave Pulse. Thank you. Thank you, game. Been watching this dweebus run around for like 14 hours, and we lose, guys. Worth the wait. I get it. I, I didn't win Argus, PMC, Post, Mortar, Contact. All that was left of him was an Angus Beef Burger. I promise, guys, we're so close. I can taste it. We're almost there. We're almost into the game. We're about to see what this multiplayer looks like. Is it great? Is it terrible? I don't even know. Ah! Oh, what? What? 
Oh, okay, okay. This is just more tutorials. We could we could skip it though. It's okay, guys. We could skip it. We don't have to go back to that tutorial level. We can live our lives in freedom and harmony. Um, we just it's unbalanced. I guess they're oh they're trying to tell me something. I guess I go over. I guess they want me on on the losing team. So it's fine. It's fine. I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. Let's just let's play the game. Let's play the game. Let's finally see what this game looks like. What the fuck?